On the N500C, operators will want to use fast start to eliminate gaps when stopping and starting in the middle of the field or when backed into a corner. In the video titled N500C Gen 4 Screen Navigation, we discussed how to add the fast start button to the shortcut bar. In this video, I will review the display settings for fast start, show how to initiate a fast start sequence, and describe the two countdowns associated with fast start. First, we will review the display settings for fast start. On the display, open the Seed Star app. Press the Information and Settings icon at the top of the screen. Put a check mark in front of Auto Enable Fast Start on Implement Down if you want the fast start sequence to run every time the openers are lowered. A fast start sequence will now begin any time the openers are lowered below the start point or any time the fast start button is pressed. This sequence will begin even if the seeder is located in a part of the field that has already been covered in the section control coverage map. Close out of information and settings. Before starting a fast start sequence, the operator will need to position the seeder in the desired location. Here, we have the N500C backed into a corner of the field. The power generation system and CCS blower should be running. Set the tractor to the desired forward gear. Lower the openers. At this point, fast start will begin if the auto enable box is checked. If auto enable is not checked, press the fast start button. Notice the window shade that appears at the top of the screen. It says that fast start is engaged and the meters are turning, but it also says to wait and there is a countdown timer running. During this countdown, the operator should still wait to begin driving forward. The meters are turning and beginning to drop seed into the seed hoses. At the end of this timer, seed will be coming out of the opener seed boots. When the wait timer reaches zero, a new window shade will appear at the top of the screen. The bottom line of the window shade informs the operator that seed is being applied and instructs the operator to drive forward. When this message appears, the operator should begin driving forward and bring the machine up to operating speed. The system will disengage the meters if ground speed is not above 1.2 miles per hour or 1.9 kilometers per hour before the timer reaches zero. You should now be able to review the display settings for fast start, show how to initiate a fast start sequence, and describe the two countdowns associated with fast start. <music>